Today I am doing my first ever wall mural. I'm painting a wall today. I finished the second version of a sketch for my very first wall mural project ever. This is what the sketch looks like. This is the quote she chose and I added some floral detail around it. She loved the sketch and I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> So I just got here kind of scoping out the wall. The situation I'm working in today, I'm gonna be sort of working across a short set of stairs. So the way they actually set it up is instead of using a ladder, they have a piece of wood that's like spanning the staircase and then some other blocks of wood that are holding it up on the other side so I don't fall down. The wall mirror I'm gonna be doing is about 28 square foot. And I brought this much paint with me. This is just the sample size that you get from Lowe's, but I've done some research. I think this is genuinely gonna be enough to cover the entire wall. So my first step really is just to do a sketch on the wall. Honestly, the hardest part of this entire process is gonna be the sketch, making sure all of the words are at the right angle, the right size, um, and in proportion. I've already been at this for over an hour and I haven't even started painting yet. So like I said, guys, first half of the day, it's a bit of a drag, but we're, we're making progress. I'm listening to How I Built This right now. My two favorite How I Built This um, episodes are the one with Barbara Corcoran and the one about Instagram. So if you're looking for something very motivational, Ice water, thank you. Have a good day. Bam. So, so far the day's been going really well. I'm sure some of you guys saw this coming. This is why trying to paint a mural and also film it at the same time is not a good idea. <laughs> Checking in with you guys again. It's been several hours. I've been painting away here. Um, I had to take a Zoom call for like an hour. But I've made a significant amount of progress. You can see I did have to paint over a couple of these letters in the original paint color because when I stepped away from the mural, I could tell they weren't the right shape or the right height or something. That's why it's so important to take a step back from your mural when you're painting it, if you can. The way this one is nestled, there's a wall immediately behind me, but there's a staircase that goes down and then there's also a hallway this way. So what I can do is I can hop off my little wood thing 
come down these stairs a bit and take a look at it from a bit of a more distanced perspective. So this was when the process really slowed down for me a little bit. It was a lot of going back and refining parts that I had already painted and maybe not painted quite perfectly. There were a lot of times I smudged my work and I had to go back in and paint over it with the original paint color. Luckily I had gotten a entire bucket of the original white paint from the owner so I was able to cover up my mistakes after they dried. But this was really the most time consuming part of the process because every time I would cover something up I would have to let it dry before I could redo it again so it was just sort of a game, a little dance of going around the mural, fixing little parts, making sure I wasn't smudging it with the back of my hand which I did several times, waiting for it to dry again and then just continuing that process over and over and over again. day two today. So I've been posting a lot of pictures where I'm wearing this painter suit and I was filling up my car with gas last night after coming home and this guy like pulls around in a pickup truck and I can tell he like wanted to stop and say something to me so I like looked up and smiled and he goes I recognize you in your suit. Today's the big day. I'm finishing the mural. I'm gonna be getting so many cool pictures with the mural as well. It's a very overcast gloomy day today but I think the pictures will still come out okay. There's lots of natural light coming into that room so I'm really Really, really excited. I'd say I probably did about 10 hours yesterday. I think I probably have three or four more hours to go. Day two was really fun. After I finally finished erasing all of the pencil marks from the previous day, which actually took quite a long time, I was able to start working on the floral details and those actually moved very, very quickly because the flowers are a little bit more abstract. They don't have to be quite as perfect as the letters so they actually went a lot quicker than the letters did even though they're a bit more complex they were just much easier to paint i had sketched them in pencil the day before so they were all ready to go i really really enjoyed painting those and i think they also just really brought a lot of life to the mural they really framed it in really really nicely <laughs> I was definitely starting to feel a bit tired. I'd been spending so much time on this mural. Um, I had a little bit of Subway lemonade though, that pepped me up. And then the last thing I had to add was the drop shadow behind all of the letters. And this might've seemed like a very small detail, but honestly, it added so much dimension to the artwork. I'm so glad I ended up including it. It didn't take terribly long and I really, really love the way that it looks. If you're ever struggling with what to add to your quote, I would definitely recommend just adding a small drop shadow behind each letter. Another secret I will tell you is that this actually kind of helps disguise any tiny imperfections you may have made. It distracts the eye a little bit and you're not as drawn to a line that's not drawn perfectly straight because your, your eyes are just a bit distracted, I guess. All in all, I was so happy and felt so lucky to work on this project. Thank you, Allison, for hiring me. I can't wait to continue working with you. Your space is beautiful, and I'm so glad I could do this meal for you. Oh, 
also in case any of you guys are wondering. Not even half. Charlotte says, how much do you measure your design slash words or is it freehand? When you said you had to redo some letters, had you already painted them, how did you fix them? How do you not smudge while you're painting? This is actually really difficult, especially when you start working back and forth.